The car world has gone crazy recently. I've got all the details on the new American Rolls Royce, a hydrogen powered Alpine hypercar, a 600 horsepower electric Jeep, and even a bulletproof SUV with real James Bond gadgets. But there are plenty of even cooler new cars that have just been revealed too. And I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about them in this video. Buy, sell, car, wow. This is the new Cadillac Celestique. It's a brand new, ultra luxurious EV that'll take on cars like the Mercedes EQS and even the new Rolls-Royce Spectre. It looks absolutely incredible on the outside. Most car makers tone down their concept cars for production, but not Cadillac. This thing looks like it belongs in the metaverse, not on public roads. And it's just as eye-catching on the inside too. There are boatloads of posh materials and a 55-inch digital screen that stretches all the way across the dashboard. That's the same size as Mercedes' gigantic hyperscreen. The Celestique Mystique comes with two electric motors. The Cadillac says make around 600 horsepower and almost 870 newton meters of torque. That's the same ballpark as the new Rolls Royce Spectre, which has 585 horsepower and 900 newton meters. The Cadillac will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour about half a second quicker than the Rolls Royce, though, with a time of 3.8 seconds. And the Celestique will undercut that car in terms of price. It's expected to cost from about a quarter of a million pounds. That sounds like a lot, and it most certainly is, but it's also 50,000 pounds less than the starting price of the Rolls-Royce Spectre. However, no one's going to buy an off-the-shelf Cadillac Celestique. Just like when you buy a Rolls-Royce, you get a dedicated design team to help you spec your perfect electric luxury car, for an extra cost though, of course. This is the new Polestar 3, and it's the most powerful electric car Polestar has ever made. Go for the optional performance pack, and its dual motors make 517 horsepower and 910 newton meters of torque. That's enough oomph to blast this new Tesla Model Y alternative from 0 to 60 miles an hour, in 4.7 seconds. The standard car isn't slow either. Its dual motors crank out 489 horsepower and help it crack the 0 to 60 sprint in 5 seconds flat. The Polestar's 14.5 inch touchscreen infotainment system should be super quick too. It's running the latest car specific Android operating system from Google. There's more computing power elsewhere, especially if you pick the upgraded Pilot Pack. This beefs up the car's safety kit with a LiDAR system, three cameras and four ultrasonic sensors to help it spot potential hazards. All Polestar 3s come with a 111 kilowatt hour battery pack, giving you a range of 379 miles. Sounds good? Well, you can order the new Polestar 3 now from £79,900. Renault has just revealed the four ever trophy electric car. It looks like a prop director Ridley Scott might use if he filmed the next Blade Runner movie in Paris. But it's actually a concept that shows what Renault's forthcoming electric car will look like. It'll take inspiration from the classic Renault 4. But instead of a wheezy petrol engine, this retro-inspired SUV will get a new electric drive system. It'll probably share its batteries and motors with the reborn Renault 5 hatchback. Speaking of which, Renault has built itself a new toy based on the classic Renault 5. It's called the R5 Turbo 3E, and it's what happens when you take a dinky French hatchback and give it the need for speed treatment. You can forget about T-Tray spoilers. The Turbo 3E's rear wing is so big, you could eat a five-course meal off it. It also comes with a huge front splitter and a set of 80s-inspired turbofan alloy wheels. It's not awful show, though. This French hatchback comes with a one-off tubular chassis and two electric motors that deliver 380 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque to the rear wheels. This radical resto mod also gets bespoke front suspension with more than 50 degrees of steering angle, so you'll have no problem nailing massive drift angles in this small French electric car. That's... Not a sentence I thought I'd ever say. A crazy Renault 5 isn't the only racing inspired concept to appear recently. Check out the Alpine Alpen Glow. I know it sounds like a breakfast cereal, but it's a hydrogen powered single seater that shows what Alpine's future road cars and racing cars could look like. This isn't a hydrogen fuel cell car like a Toyota Mirai though. The Alpine has an internal combustion engine that actually burns hydrogen instead of using it to generate electricity. This technology probably won't appear in a production car anytime soon, but some of the Alpen Glow's design cues might. In fact, you can see some of these cars in the background of the video. One of them is is a new electric car hatch, one is a new all-electric replacement for the A110 Coupe, and the third is a new electric SUV. Alpine isn't the only brand working on a new electric sports car. Apollo is developing this, the G2J. You probably know Apollo for building crazy hypercars, like the V12-powered IE. But the G2J shows it's committed to developing electric performance cars as well. It hasn't conferred any stats for this new car yet. After all, the G2J is technically just a prototype for now. But the company has said it will use this new two-seater to tackle one of the biggest problems facing electric sports cars. How do you make a lightweight car that's fun to drive when it also has to carry around hundreds of kilos of heavy batteries? This is why the G2J uses loads of carbon fibre parts, and why its body looks like it's been shrink-wrapped around the car's chassis. Is this the start of an electric sports car arms race? I certainly hope so. 
Speaking of arms races, check out the armoured Resvani Vengeance. It started life as a Cadillac Escalade, but Resvani chucked away the body and built its own military-inspired bomb shelter on wheels. Don't think it's all bark and no bite, though. You can get the Vengeance with the same military upgrade package as Resvani's other SUV, the Tank. This has features including bulletproof windows, electrified door handles that shock anyone to be carjackers, and a James Bond-style smokescreen. How much does this all cost? Well, the basic vengeance will set you back a quarter of a million dollars. At least you'll have somewhere to hide from any debt collectors who can knock in. The Resvani isn't the only off-roader that's been revealed recently. Dacia has also showcased this, the Manifesto. OK, so it isn't in the same league as the Vengeance. It doesn't even have any windows or doors, so it's definitely not bulletproof. But it does show what a simple back-to-basics off-roader could look like in the future when we'll all be driving electric cars. It has airless tyres that don't get punctured if you drive over sharp terrain, and there's only one headlight to save weight and help the battery last longer. You can also detach the light and use it as a camping torch. Lots of the Manifesto's interior is made from recycled materials, and the whole cabin is waterproof so you can hose it out if everything gets a bit muddy, or you could just leave it parked outside in the rain. Hyundai has just revealed the all-new 7th generation Grandeur. This is one of the biggest saloon cars the Korean company makes, and it's also set to be one of the most luxurious. Unlike many of Hyundai's latest cars, like the Ioniq 6, the Grandeur won't be a pure EV. No specs have been confirmed yet, but the car is likely to get a range of 4- and 6-cylinder petrol and hybrid engines. Sadly, it's almost certainly not coming to the UK. Maserati has already revealed the electric Ford Gore version of its new Gran Turismo, but it's now pulled the covers off a twin-turbo V6 model. This looks pretty much identical to the electric GT on the outside, but things are completely different under that long bonnet. The electric motors and batteries have gone. Instead, you get a 3-litre twin-turbo V6 from the MC20 supercar. This cranks out 490 horsepower as standard, but you can upgrade to a Trofeo model with a Meteor 550 horsepower. This faster version accelerates from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.5 seconds, and it should feel even better to drive than the electric Volgore because it weighs almost half a tonne less. Maserati hasn't confirmed how much this new GT will cost, but expect to pay around £150,000 for the V6 model and closer to £200,000 for the electric Volgore. Jeep is famous for building tough 4x4 off-roaders like the Wrangler, but now it's jumping on the EV bandwagon with a new Avenger. It certainly looks the part, but this new crossover only gets a single electric motor, and it only drives the front wheels. Although before you start complaining that a real Jeep should have four-wheel drive, check out this Avenger 4x4 concept. Jeep hasn't said whether it will go into production, but don't rule it out. The Avenger isn't the only electric Jeep in the works, there's also a battery-powered version of the new Wagoneer on the way with 600 horsepower. This is set to have 400 miles of range and be capable of doing 0-6 60 miles an hour in around 3.5 seconds. And that's not all, Jeep is also working on a new fully electric off-roader called the Recon. This won't replace the Wrangler, but it offers the same hardcore off-roading abilities in a battery-powered package. Foxconn is a Taiwanese company that builds whole products for some of the world's biggest brands, including Microsoft, Nintendo, Google, and Apple. You might actually be holding an iPhone or a Google Pixel phone made by Foxconn right now, and soon you might be driving a Foxconn car. This tech giant has just revealed two new electric cars, the Model B and the Model V. I wonder where they got the inspiration for naming their cars. Anyway, the Model B is a small electric hatchback. It's about the size of a Volkswagen ID3 and has about 280 miles of range. The Model V is an electric double cab pickup truck that can carry one ton of cargo in the bed and tow a trailer weighing up to three tons. Foxconn doesn't plan to sell these cars itself, but it does want to build them and sell them in partnership with other brands. You never know, this could be the start of a Foxconn and Apple car project. Watch this space. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. If you want to watch some more videos you just click on those windows there and if you haven't done so already i suggest you subscribe to this channel by just clicking on the car wire logo there and if you do that also make sure you click on the bell icon to turn your notifications on that way you'll be alerted when we make a new upload thanks for watching